All right, so first experiments on cutting acrylic. I have it clamped down to the bench here, and um, I'm gonna give it a first shot with the uh, circular saw here. Um, I don't know what kind of blade this is. It looks like oops, three teeth per inch, maybe like two and a half teeth per inch blade, um, which is way higher than it's supposed to be, or way lower than it's supposed to be, but we'll give it a shot and see how it works out. Um, I'm going to use a uh, um, guide on the blade so I can get a nice straight cut. And um, if that doesn't work, I've got a. Hold on. I don't. Yeah, it's more like five teeth per inch. I think that's like the finest blade I got. So hopefully it'll work. We'll feed slow and see how it works. All right, so got it set up. Um, it's just about an inch and a half between the blade. I traded the blade out for the five teeth per inch one, figured I might as well give it the best shot we got for the first time. <clears throat> Reclamped it so that I got a better um, uh, area with the saw. And I got my fence on there so it's nice and even now and it will slide nice. So um, I still got the protective covering on there and we won't pull that off until we're almost all the way done. And so let's give this cut a shot. All right, so I got that first cut done. Um, blade looks okay. Got some gum on it, but that's not bad. Um, I did wear a respirator this first time because I was kind of worried about the fumes, but it does reek, but I don't think it's anything too bad. Um, the cut is actually pretty clean. There's pretty much no chipping on the back side, which is what I was worried about. Um, maybe a little bit. It's pretty rough, but I think we're gonna have to sand and buff it or sand and flame polish it. We'll figure out which one's the best. Um, so I think I'll take just a little bit of this coating off. Yeah, it looks all right. Zoom in on that. That's not bad. A Little bit of chipping. We'll have to see what we can do about that. Maybe clamping it to a piece of wood when we cut it. All right, so I cut a couple small bits off with the miter saw. I didn't even change the blade of head on there. But they look really good. That's gonna look cool at the final product. That cut's a little rough, but the side cuts weren't too bad, actually. Um, maybe a little bit of chipping, but not as much as on the long one. Um, we'll probably have to find a new blade for the circular saw. <clears throat> but I'm gonna give a couple different attempts at um, sanding and buffing the edge and then I'm gonna see about scraping the edge and flame polishing and we'll I'll come back and see which one's the best and then I think we'll test out um, the adhesive I got. Alright so there we go um, I've already sanded that and it looks pretty good I just right off the bat it looks like sanding is gonna be what we're going with I got the buffing machine here set up um, really all I did with this is ran it um, over the sanding belt and the sanding machine over there. Um, I don't know what that is. It's like a 120 maybe. And then um, on some 150 grit, I think, paper, and then 320. And it's pretty good. It just real quick rough sand. I'm going to try the buffing machine here. I might as well do it because I can do it one more. Oh, I forgot my buffing machine's broken. Never mind. Okay, so um, my buffing machine is broken, but I got a little bit of buff out of it. And that looks really good. You can't even tell it was cut pretty much, like you can see all the way through to my finger. Um, that looks really good. Um, but we'll have to try the flame polishing on the other piece though, so. All right, I got a real little flame. Oops, there we go. On the blowtorch. Turn it down a little bit. Just barely gonna do it. All right, let's give it a shot. So I can, it looked like it was distorting the surface there for a minute, but it smells like burning plastic. This is a little bit more difficult. Now I'm going to say that my first prediction was correct. We're going to go with the sanding and buffing, I think. That didn't work too well. I'll try sanding it first, and we'll see how that works out. There we go. So that flame polish came out 
just gorgeous for comparison um, uh, give it a second anyways that's the um, just plain flame and then I did I sanded it and then did a flame polish after that and that turned out really well too it was the same amount of sanding so since my buffing machine is broken actually we might have to go with that one but um, I ordered a bunch of um, uh, number 16 uh, acrylic um, solvent weld um, and we're gonna give that a shot so it's kind of a um, syrupy number 16 that's what I got because I figured it would be more forgiving so I'm gonna give that a shot and glue those two pieces together and then we'll see how that turns out and see how strong of a bond we can get okay so that's glued up and it's drying now um, we'll have to see how that glue works I was a little bit sloppy with it um, it was actually less viscous than I thought it was going to be. Um, but once that puddle around there dries, it's done. Um, solvent, solvent weld for acrylics is essentially what it does is instead of gluing things together, which is taking two pieces of material and then putting a glue between them that hardens and holds them together, um, solvent weld actually melts the two materials and sticks the melted bits together so that when it cools or dries, um, the, they're one piece actually so um, that's why it's called welding instead of gluing solvent weld instead of solvent glue um, so that puddle there is actually like kind of molten um, plexiglass if you want to think about it like that um, and as a little bit sloppy you can see on the back there there's a little bit of a, a string going up right there which you will have to be careful of but first try it's all right um, so we'll have to see how that little puddle down there um, clears up if it, if it completely goes back to being a flat surface or if we need to be even more careful with the glue or what. Um, or maybe we can order um, the water thin stuff that might work. Um, but I also did, I cut out a piece on the bandsaw which actually didn't chip at all pretty much. There's a little bit there but I just didn't sand it off. It's pretty good. It's almost perfect. Um, so I'll bring these to school tomorrow so the team can look at them. Um, but it's really actually fun stuff to work with. It's just gorgeous, completely clear. But um, I'm gonna experiment a little bit more with saws and see what I can get with saws um, not chipping because getting the edges polished, that's pretty easy now. Um, just gotta work on getting the edges or the uh, chipping stopped. So we'll mess around with that. Got it? And then it gets sanded. Got it? Sanded some more. Then uh, let's try in here. Closer. There's a trick, because if you put too little you can't there's air pockets in there. And that's bad. And if you put too much, it soups out and messes up the surface. Right, let's give this a shot. It's a little bit too much, but I wonder if we can wipe it away with the rag. That worked okay in the last couple ones. So there's that little puddle there. 
Let's give her a wipe. Kind of smeared. So that looks okay. Let's get this side too. Okay, and then you can see from the bottom, you can see through there, so it's a pretty good thing. It's all smeared and nasty up here, but I'm not entirely sure what to do about that yet. Okay, that's good.